Blade and Matt, congratulations. You guys have made it into the third and final round of this competition. Now it's time to send you back to your home for just to recreate this iconic weapon from history. The Botang Saber. Here to tell you more about it, historic weapons recreation specialist, David Baker. The Botang Saber holds the world record as the most expensive sword ever sold at $7.7 million. Commissioned by the Chinese Emperor Quilong in the 18th century, this elaborate weapon is inlaid with gold, copper, and jewels. In addition to its beauty, the slightly curved blade featured a sharp, lethal edge, ideal for slashing into an opponent. Combining artisanal craftsmanship and deadly practicality, this weapon is worthy of an all-powerful ruler. $7.7 .7 million? Damn. No pressure. <laughs> Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in four days. Good luck. Good luck. It's morning and day two. I'm feeling pretty good, a little sleepy. My main goal today is to get it all ground down, get the fullers in, and Quinch wanted a really big fuller in it just so it knocks a lot of the weight out. Now I'm going to go to the heat treat. I really hope this fits in there. I don't know if it got hard or not. It's not really getting hard. There's a couple dead spots in it. I think I'm just going to have to redo the quench, because I don't want to risk having a super bent blade on any of the tests they do. Here we go. Looks pretty good. Starting day two. What I want to get done is finish the profile of the saber. As I'm forging, the exhaustion just starts to sit in. I'd pay $700 for a big blue right now. <laughs> it's starting to look like a Botang saber now. It's morning, day three. I still got a lot to do. The handle material is moving really, really slow. I've already clogged up about four belts and I gotta save some for the blade finishing. I'm gonna start getting a little bit nicer of a profile and just start cleaning it up. So I pretty much finished up the blade. Now, this has been a pretty tough challenge. I'm extremely tired. My back is killing me from all the grinding, but tomorrow's the last day and I'm gonna turn in an amazing weapon. It's day four. I got a torch and a sword. Get out of my way. Yesterday, we got the quench done, and it went awesome. Still hard, so that's good. I've got a piece of brass stock. This would make a nice guard. <laughs> Almost there. I find a piece of walnut. It's dark, so I think it'll look cool with the brass. I just got to cut it in half. <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed. Let's go. We're gonna clean it up, wrap some tape around it, keep going. I'm really worried at this point. Am I gonna lose time? Am I gonna be able to finish this sword? All bandaged up, ready to go. Let's get back to work. I'll make it. it ain't gonna stop me. But I really had to take my time, be careful, and not be in a hurry. Let that be a lesson to everybody. The final stretch. My Botang Saber is made of sweat, rain, and blood, literally. <laughs> I got an emperor to deliver this to. Got to go. Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. To find out how lethal your weapons are, we'll take your weapons and deliver some lethal blows on this boar carcass. It's time to find out if your blades will stand up to the most expensive blade ever sold in an auction, or if they're going on a fortune fire reduced sale. <laughs> Glenn, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, I am.
All right, Glenn, let's talk about your weapon here. Your edge is sharp. That's a thick hide right there, and it chops deep into it. Overall, sir, your bow tang will kill. <laughs> All right, Matt, your turn, sir. You ready? Let's bring home the bacon. All right, Matt, I like the bounce that you have your weapon here. Your handle is a little bit blocky. So when you have a blocky handle right there, when you're swinging for the rafters right there with full power, it tends to move around. I can't get full grip on this. Your edge is sharp, though. Some of the chops there, it goes deep. It will kill. Thank you. Bladesmiths, welcome to one of my favorite tests, the ice block chop, supersized. Now I'm gonna take your swords and beat them repeatedly and mercilessly into this large block of ice. A good strong sword should be able to hold up to the stress. One that's not so good might chip, bend, or even break apart. Gladen, how are you feeling, buddy? Uh, a little nauseous. Clayton, nice job. A little bit forward heavy, but good strong blade. Your edge is perfect. No damage at all. Good job. How are you feeling, Matt? After watching that, I don't know. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. All right, Matt, you survived. Everything's still tight, nothing came loose, but your edge is not what it was. It hasn't exactly rolled over or chipped, it just doesn't have that razor edge it did have when I started. But hey, man, you survived, good job. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, welcome to the sharpest test that's Tommy Matt Slice. Now we'll take your weapon and try to cut through these Tommy Mats. A sharp blade should cut all the way through. Bin, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Cha-ching! <laughs> all right, Glidden. Let's talk about your edge here. It's sharp. It cut through the first three tatamis easily, even on the one that's doubled up. Overall, sir, your weapon, it will cut. Thank you, sir. All right, Matt, your turn. So you ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, Matt, as you can see, it did cut a little bit, but during the strength test, it did get some dulling. It's still sharp, but it's not as sharp. But this is the reason why we have the sharpness test, so we know how well your edge is able to hold on to its sharpness. But you can see in the first cuts, it will cut. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, the judges have made their final decision. Our new Forge and Fire champion is... Gladen, congratulations. You're the Forge Fire Champion. Matt, unfortunately, your blade didn't make the cut. Matt, you did fantastic work, but at this time, I have to ask you to exit the Forge. Good job. Thanks very much. Good job. Oh, I feel a little bummed. Overall, I feel like I made a good sword. Uh, it survived uh, chopping a big block of ice, so that's pretty good. I'm proud of that. Forge and Fire is a really tough challenge. It really pushes you to really expand on your skills. Gladen, you are the Forge and Fire champion. That is a title that does not come with a check for $7.7 .7 million, but it does come with one for $10,000. Good job, brother. Thank you. Come over here and shake our hands. 
Thank you. Good job, brother. You did a great job. The Old Fortune Fire experience has been fantastic for me. All the learning that I've been able to do. Nice job. Just a little bit lighter next time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Being the Fortune Fire champion gives me the confirmation that, you know, I can make good swords and blades. It really helps me know I'm going in the right direction. So it should be 7.7 .7 million, but, you know, I'll take 10,000.